Hello my YouTuber friends. Today I am off and I am here in our beautiful patio in Hollywood, Florida and I am going to show you how to make chicken biryani. I know I made a video before but I want to make a second one because I love this so much. I want to just do a second video to give you all the details. Thank you. Stay tuned. Okay my friends, the ingredients I'm going to use for this chicken biryani today is uh, biryani masala red chili, cumin seeds, oil, black pepper, red chili powder, salt, ghee, turmeric, chicken broth, red tomatoes, garlic, ginger, basmati rice, red onion, garam masala whole, cinnamon, green cardamom, and of course our marinated chicken from the night before with salt and garlic. Hope you enjoy. Okay, my friends, today is January the 13th, Monday. I am ready to do this video, but the problem is in Miami, Hollywood, uh, with the change of time, it gets dark after 6 p.m. The weather is great. When I started the video, it was nice and sunny. So hopefully I'll do the chicken part here and then I'll cook the rice inside the house and I'll show you. Now, one of the first reasons or the reason what I am doing this uh, video is because the first video I made I was showing at the beginning I'm stirring oil, cumin seeds and the red pepper and people did not know what it was. Uh, the reason was that I had to cut that part in order to fit it in within the 15 minutes. So I'm going to show you today from the beginning what I was trying to do showing you in the first video. Okay, the first thing you do is you heat up oil. I'm gonna do this outside because it's much easier to cook with all the spices. You heat up the oil. And you put in some red chili pepper. And you're gonna add some cumin seeds. This is the first step. This is what I was doing on the first video that people kept asking, what is he stirring? <laughs> and it's oil, red chili pepper, and cumin seeds. And then after a little while, what you do is you add the red onion. Half of it, because I cut a whole lot. Just add half an onion first and then the rest at the end. So I cook this for a little while. About two minutes. I'm going to add some onions, red onions, half of it, it's easier to cook out here. Too bad it got dark so fast, I was hoping to do it in the daylight. It would have been so nice, it was such a nice day. 2020, Monday, January the 13th, when it gets dark so fast. But I promise to put this for you and I'm doing it, no matter what happens. Next thing we're gonna add is turmeric. So one tablespoon. Turmeric. The next ingredient is a tablespoon of salt. We could add more later on if we need so as we go along. Now we're going to add the chicken. It's coming together so nicely. I don't get tired of cooking this meal. Love it. I'm loving this meal. Everybody knows. I'm gonna cook this for a while till it browns up a little bit. I'll get back to you. Can you believe it that people are freezing up north and here we are cooking in the outdoors in this beautiful patio? I'm sorry, that's the price you gotta pay. Okay, my friends, I have cooked the chicken for about 15 minutes now. The next thing to do, I lower the heat because since I'm cooking with gas, not like usually when I cook inside the house with the glass top, it's not the same. The electric is not the same as glass uh, gas. 
So I lowered the heat a little bit and I'm going to add some salt, red chili pepper, and the tomatoes. Salt. About a tablespoon. Uh, tablespoon of red chili pepper. And I'm going to add the tomatoes. Nice and fresh chopped tomatoes. Mm. This smells so good. Indian food is my favorite. It has a lot of ingredients, but it's worth it. I like all the complicated uh, recipes. And I believe this is just starting to rain. Can you believe this? In the middle of this cooking, oh Lord have mercy. I am blessed by the rain. Indian food with rain. Sorry guys, I have to come in. Bring everything in because it started to rain. I guess it's meant for me to cook under the light. So I'm going to continue this great meal. Nothing is going to stop us. You can't fool with Mother Nature. Okay, now I have these ingredients that I have to put in the pan and roast. They are cumin seeds, three cloves, red chili, cinnamon sticks, and the seasoning from the uh, garam masala hole that all goes together. I have to roast it and then I have to grind it in the grinder and turn it into powder and then pour it into the chicken. And that'll give it this beautiful, great flavor. I also added some whole black pepper to go with that. I am roasting these ingredients now. If you can smell it now, it is incredible. I love it. Ready to be grind. So now I'm gonna pour all this inside the grinder and grind it really nice into a fine powder and pour it into the chicken. So now after I have grinded the spices, then I am going to add the garlic and the ginger, which I've already cut. I will mix it in here all together and pour it in the chicken. I'm gonna pour a little water to the salt it will be so thick and then grind it again. I'm gonna add all the spices that I grind it. It smells incredible. Now I'm gonna add plain yogurt, which I did not mention in, in the first place because it was in the fridge. So you add some plain yogurt, about two tablespoons. So you can cook your nice chicken. Now I have a um, Pyrex glass container, which says one cup, but I usually fill it to the top. I'm gonna to put two full cup of rice and then soak it so I can pour it in the rice. Two full cups of this all the way to the top and then I'm going to rinse it. <clears throat> okay so now to the rice you're going to add cinnamon and green cardamom about four pieces. Add it to the rice then you're going to add two tablespoons of chicken broth to your rice. At this point, I cannot feel my mouth or my nose, but I don't care because I love it. So meantime, you're cooking your rice, you're stirring the chicken slowly but surely and give it time to cook your rice so then you can mix it all in and make your famous food, chicken briyani. We're almost there. You can smell the aroma of the basmati rice. It's not just regular rice, it's a special rice for this great Indian meal. You're gonna love it. Oh, just the rice itself makes you crazy. Imagine when it comes together with the chicken. You tell me, after you try my recipe, you tell me. Now while the rice is cooking, I am going to give you a tip. Nenita Filipina 
my friend, she works with me, she told me, how do you know how much water you put in the rice? You just put one inch above the rice level of water and it's going to be perfect. That's all. Okay, now the rice is almost done. So what do you do? You transfer it to another container and then you will be pouring it on top of the chicken gradually. Now while the rice is cooking, <clears throat> you should get some sauce from the chicken and just mix it in with the rice to give it a great flavor. And, and then you can mix it in with the chicken. You see? After that, you're gonna add a little butter. In this case, I have Irish butter. To me, it's one of the best besides Indian butter. I'll add some butter to the rice and stir it for more flavor. As the rice is cooking, you're gonna add uh, one or two tablespoons according to your choice of biryani masala. This will give it a nice flavor to the chicken. And then stir it to mix with the rice later on. This is incredible. Now after the rice is done, what you have to do is transfer it to another container. So it will not keep on cooking and transfer the whole amount and I'll show you what to do next. Now I'm going to add some oil to the pan and then I'm going to add some ghee, 100% ghee. Now that we have the oil and the ghee butter, we're going to add the rest of the red onion. That's why I divided it in two parts. And we're going to cook the onions really nice with the oil and the ghee. Now, <clears throat> for the last steps, all we need to do is add the onions with the ghee and the oil. To the chicken and then we will add the rice and mix well. All the rice goes in there and you're going to mix it really nicely to get all that beautiful color, flavor, texture, everything included in the Indian cuisine which I definitely love. This is why I cook this twice for you. And you are going to enjoy this like you wouldn't believe. It is so good. My friends, I am finished with this wonderful plate. Look at this beauty. If you could smell, taste, you would die. But it's all for me. If you want me to cook this plate, call Chef Garcia from Hollywood. Look them up, subscribe, hit like, and share, and I will cook it for you. Capiche? Entiende? Comprende? You understand me? You understand me? I love you. Thank you for watching. This has been a pleasure to show you this plate again for the second time. I am going to share it with my spouse and my friends at work who really enjoy Indian food. Thank you and have a good night. I hope you have enjoyed this video, this wonderful, delicious food which I love from India. Thank you everyone. I'll see you next time and I'll have something delicious for you to taste.